Last week, the F1 world was stunned with the shock news that Sebastian Vettel would be leaving Ferrari. What was less of a shock was the Italian establishment's choice of replacement, Carlos Sainz. Although the choice of the youngster in comparison to the likes of Daniel Ricciardo, Valtteri Bottas or Fernando Alonso has proven to be an interesting case. We've decided to look into whether or not Ferrari has made the right choice with partnering Carlos Sainz with the highly talented Charles Leclerc for the 2021 season, Ferrari's youngest ever driver lineup since 1968. The Spaniard had already commenced early talks of McLaren over extending his current deal and was expected to remain following a stellar maiden season in 2019. But the lure of joining Ferrari understandably proved too much for temptation and convinced him to move. Ferrari team principal Mattia Bonotto has said that with five seasons already behind him, Carlos has proved to be very talented and has shown that he has the technical ability and the right attributes to make him an ideal fit with our family. The Marinello outfit will picture signs as the perfect support act for Leclerc, in a similar backup role to the one Valtteri Bottas plays for Lewis Hamilton at Mercedes. For the short term at least, Sainz is likely to accept such a position in exchange for the opportunity to show off his skills in race winning machinery and dice it out at the front end of the grid. There are also clear financial benefits for the Scuderia, which, like all teams, is feeling the squeeze of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and the economic impact it wields. Sainz will arrive at Ferrari commanding a far smaller salary than his predecessor Vettel, believed to be around £36 million per year providing some light relief for the F1 team amid a large revenue loss. Sainz' signing certainly marked a shift in the approach for Ferrari, which previously relied on luring big-name signings to Maranello in the hope of recreating glory. This time, it has an asset it has nurtured through the ranks and now believes it will reap the rewards of that investment. Moreover, Ferrari is looking to establish some harmony in its driver lineup following the tensions that rose between Vettel and Leclerc, which threatened to become an all-out power struggle towards the end of 2019. By signing signs, Ferrari has the opportunity to build a fresh start. The Spaniard starred throughout his near three-year spell at Toro Rosso before earning a move up to F1's midfield to join Renault on loan from Red Bull. Here, signs continued to shine, but it was not until he made the switch to McLaren in 2019 that his true potential was realised. He excelled in his first season with McLaren and showed how big a mistake Red Bull made by letting him slip through their fingers as he topped the midfield drivers last year, claiming the best of the rest tag with a career best P6 finish in the championship. A maiden podium in Brazil proved the icing on the cake during a stellar campaign in which he played an instrumental role in helping McLaren secure its most competitive season in years on its way to fall from the Constructors' Championship. Despite many of his best on-track battles frequently being missed by the TV cameras in 2019, his performances have not gone unnoticed, with praise being heaped on him by his hero and fellow Spaniard Fernando Alonso, who said that, Carlos is doing great and he will have a great future. Sainz's Ferrari drive is a belated opportunity to show what he can do with front-running machinery underneath him. He rarely makes mistakes and is a keen racer in battle. If nothing else, people will see this move as vindication for his evident talents. At the same time, switching to Ferrari is certainly a big gamble for Sainz. While he has had strong teammates in the past, he's never had to assume an obvious number two tag, a role that hasn't always benefited some F1 careers regardless of the results they are achieving in more competitive machinery. Indeed, great world champions have struggled to make it work in the past at the Scuderia, especially considering the likes of Vettel and Alonso. Sainz is leaving comfortable surroundings at McLaren as the working outfit looks to continue its recent upward trajectory with Mercedes engines coming on board for 2021. He has ultimately rolled the dice on the possible option for short-term success, and few can blame him. At Ferrari, Sainz will finally get the chance to prove himself as a top-line driver and underline his potential world champion material. Do you think Ferrari has made the right choice in choosing Sainz to partner Leclerc for 2021? Will the Spaniard handle the pressure and succeed? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe to Crash for more motorsport content.